In this video, we'll walk you through how to install the table on your Highland 1501 Breeze embroidery machine. The tabletop is a great accessory which can be added to the front of your machine when sewing on heavy materials such as heavy jackets, blankets, towels, anything that's going to add a lot of weight to the front of the machine. When sewing on those materials, you can add this table on the machine to support the weight of that fabric and prevent bad sew outs. You can prevent the hoop from falling apart while you are running the machine and prevent just unwanted wear and tear, which can come from sewing on those heavy materials. Before we go ahead and install our table on our machine, we are going to need to gather a few things. First, you're going to need these four black thumb screws, 12 small Phillips head screws, both of which came in the toolbox that came with your machine. You'll need these two silver table brackets and one Phillips head screwdriver. Once you have all of those, you're going to need to get your white tabletop, which came with the machine as well. And typically, when this comes, it's going to come with a, a protective covering of some kind. This will need to be removed prior to installing the table brackets onto your machine. When you're looking at your tabletop, there's going to be a top and a bottom side to it. Top side of the table is going to have these countersunk screw holes, whereas the bottom side of the table is going to have this handle cutout uh, here towards the top of the table. The bottom side is going to be the side where our brackets are mounted to, whereas the screws are going to go in from the top side of the table through the brackets behind it. When looking at our table brackets, each bracket uh, goes on a specific side of the table, and that's determined by the positioning of these screw holes. The um, screw holes you'll notice here on top are different distances from the end of the table bracket. And this, the side of the bracket which has the screw hole that's closer to the end is always going to uh, be positioned where, so that the shorter distance is always towards the back of the table, which is this short side. So I'll take a look at this bracket here and figure out specifically which side it's going to go on. And I see here that it is going to be positioned here on my right side. Again, that short distance between the screw hole and the end of the bracket is always going towards the back of the table right here. That leaves me with this other bracket, which I know now is going to go here on my left side. Once I've determined where my brackets are going to be placed, I'm ready to start the process of screwing in uh, my brackets. So I'm going to lift my table up, and on the back of the table here, I'm going to line up my, uh, the holes on my bracket with the holes on the table. And I'm going to grab one of my Phillips head screws and begin uh, screwing it in again from the top side into the uh, bottom side of the table and my bracket. I just need to get it started here a little bit so I can move on to my second screw. I'm going to put that here on the bottom. Once I have both of those started, I can grab my Phillips head screwdriver and I'm going to start tightening them down just a little bit. And I don't need to snug them all the way just because I'm still having to screw in four other screws on this bracket as well. Now that I got those a little snug, we're ready to continue on uh, screwing in the rest of this bracket and our other bracket as well. And once you do that, we are ready to move over to our machine. Now that we have our table brackets installed, we're ready to bring our table over to our machine so we can mount it on there. As we're doing that, I'm going to need to point out that the table has a rectangular cutout on it. Okay, And this is for your bed arm. Your bed arm is this lower rail on your machine that has the bobbin and your rotary hook attached to the end of it. So as you're sliding your table on, please be sure to not run the table into the bed arm as this can cause damage to your machine. We also need to point out these four silver posts that are on your machine. Two on the left, two on the right. These are where your black thumb screws are going to screw into place to hold the table on the front of your machine. So we're going to slide our tabletop on nice and easy, careful to avoid the bed arm. 
and we're going to slide it in just until the uh, screw holes on your table bracket line up with the silver posts here in the back. Once you have that in place, we're going to grab our first black thumb screw. Start over here on the back right side of the machine, and we're going to get this screw started. We don't need to necessarily torque it down, just get it hand tight, nice and snug. Once we have that one in place, we're going to come over here on the left side and do the same thing here on that back uh, screw hole. Again, just get it nice and uh, hand tight. Once we have both of those screw holes in, you, your table is secure. You do have the option to put the screws in the two front holes as well, though just having the two um, will suffice and make your table as secure as it needs to be. Know that this table on here is not going to be weight bearing either. It will support the weight of the fabric that you're sewing on, but it's not going to support the weight of you as the operator if you were to lean on it. Leaning on it can cause damage to the machine and damage to your table as a whole. Now that we have our table installed, we are ready to begin production once again on our embroidery machine.